Hey YouTubers, it's Racer PS2 Repair and Electronics here. Um, we got this G22 board here that we did a board swap on. On this one, um, it had no rumble. Um, come to find out that P7, I've already replaced it, but. Uh, from a donor board. Where is it? Oh, I got the board back. No, nope, I don't have the board back. Where's there's the fan connector? P7 right there, I replaced it. That is your rumble fuse. It goes to your regulator up here. Um, that has a 12 volt regulator um, to run the to run the rumble motors on your controller. That's how that circuit works. If that fuse is blown, you'll have no rumble. Um, like I said, I already placed it. Um, it's a micro fuse. Um, I had to get it off a donor board. Sorry for the camera, folks. Oh, I had to get it off a donor board. Um, it's that little fuse right there. Come on, focus. I'll go ahead and show you on a multimeter that it's junk. Should we get the multimeter set up? Here's your multimeter. I have it on continuity mode. And I will show you that we now have continuity at the fuse. It's kind of hard to do this with. One hand here. Yeah, that's your regulator for rumble. Because that's where the system management controller tells it to rumble and tells it to rumble. So if you don't have rumble, that's your problem is this fuse right here. You usually have to get them off a donor board or... See if I can set this up so you guys can see. It's kind of a pain, folks. See if I can set the board up and set this up where you guys can see what I'm doing here. Because it's that fuse, that little micro fuse down there. It is, it is PS7 on the older boards, like the G15s and stuff which that board I had to use the fuse off of. It's the same spot, but it's a bigger fuse. I had to take the P2 fuse off of here because that's a micro fuse. And the fuse was good, by the way, a PS2. Ain't that funny? That's power supply fuse two. Like I said, that's how that circuit works. It's got a capacitor to it, so it charges the rumble when it's on. Um, I'm probably that's probably the reason why I didn't have the analog on all the time on this board either. Probably had multiple problems. But yeah, I took it off this donor board. That's now a donor board because it was the original board out of it. But yeah, that's what I use these ports for, guys. Is fuses and stuff. Because some of these fuses are obsolete. And you can't get them. I mean, I have the diagrams for this proprietary to Sony, but they tell you what fuse it is. But you got to have the right manual. You can kind of find them online. But don't tell me, don't tell Sony that. But yeah, I'm going to show you that we got continuity at that fuse. No, we didn't before. I can get my chopsticks on it. So yeah, you just test the fuse from Yeah, it's kinda hard to do this with two hands, not two hands, folks. There you go. You have 
of continuity at that P7 fuse. Sorry for the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. And I'll be right back. We're back for a quick second. You see that plastic barrier there, guys? This is the reason why you put it back in. Your components will arc out on, a, on the chassis. That's why it's important to have that plastic piece in there. It may not make any sense. It does make sense. Engineers don't do that stuff for no reason. I just wanted to show you how close that power supply is to the, to the board. Like I said, I'm going to finish putting this back together and I'll be right back. Excuse my hand here. Alright guys, we're back. I got it hooked up to the TV. Go ahead and switch it on. Go ahead and put Ford Racing 3 in here because this I know has rumble to it. Let it read the disc. PlayStation 2. Yeah, for some reason, there it goes. For some reason, it turns the analog off and turns it back on. I don't know. Go ahead and skip through this. We just want to get to the part where we can race and see if this thing's got rumble. Like I said, sometimes you gotta fix them twice. For all I know, it probably blew the fuse, fuse right when I turned it back on. Who knows? I have a bad regulator. These controllers should rumble when rumble is requested. Oh, now she's rumbling. So we can get her to rumble for you guys. See the controller? See how it's going? Sorry. See how she's rumbling on the floor? That's what you're supposed to do, you guys. So we can get her to rumble for you again on the floor here. I'm gonna hit something. I'm not really racing here. I'm just trying to show you guys that. See how she's moving? See how she's moving there? Yeah, this one did not have rumble. That was a problem. It had a blown fuse. Like I said, another another problem fixed. Uh, that's the P7 fuse. It's for the regulator for the rumble. Like I said, that circuit's a simple circuit. Um, if, if your system management controller is good, um, you should have no problem restoring your rumble because those are ceramic fuses, guys. They're ceramic fuses. Um, you get any type of water damage on them or, or any type of whatever, or they just get old, they just go open. Um, they're not a quality fuse by any means. But uh, we were able to save the rumble on this particular feature, and uh, rumble's not working. Um, I actually have a multi-tap that we should probably check that after player three doesn't rumble anymore, which is kind of weird. Um, 
one and controller port one and two rumble i'm assuming it's probably the same thing um i haven't looked into it yet um i bought it second hand so but yeah that's 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 uh make sure to like and subscribe and smash that like button and uh like i told you if you want to buy one of these playstations 2s to support the channel i'll leave the ebay link in the description and uh bye bye for now and hopefully we can get another video up soon